Good afternoon, folks. My name is Jack Reimack, and I'm here to present to you uh, this afternoon how to uh, import and manipulate large data sets such as LiDAR data sets. Before we can import the data sets, we have to uh, create an import specification. And here's the import specification. Basically, the file is a space or tab, it's a limited file. And the X is found in the first column, the Y is in the second column, and the Z in the third column. And you can see here that we have uh, all the points are going to be 3D. They're all going to be invisible or hidden. And they'll all be included in the model. After you've created your import specification, you have to save your uh, import specification as uh, normal.iop. That's your import file. Okay, now let's import the data. The uh, data comes uh, as bare earth in my case. You can also get data that uh, it's foliage or top of canopy and the surveyor can uh, extract all that data for you if you want. So a company should be, a surveying company that collects the data should be able to uh, extract the data that you want to see. For road design purposes I want to see just the bare earth. Okay, let's import the file. I have set up some thinning options. Uh, you can set some global thinning options in our uh, import options dialog box as well as like I have here some thinning by range so I'm just going to look at part of the data set I'm not going to look at the whole data set so I've set up a range as you can see here let's import the data this should take about 30 seconds So you can see that we've skipped a lot of data. And we've imported about 250,000 to 300,000 data points. The data is hidden in the background, like I said. So that's why you don't see the points after I've selected somewhere else. Let's calculate our tin model and our uh, contours. And you do this by going to Edit Train Modeling, Calculate Train Model. This is a dual dialog box. You can calculate your triangles as well as your contours in this dialog box. I'm going to calculate just minor contours. You can see my range is from 578 to 1761. and some change. And I'm going to include all of my triangles. Now let's the soft go to work. This should take about anywhere from 30 seconds to a minute. There's the contours. Now let's uh, show you what the file looks like in 3D. We have a 3D window here that you can uh, take a look at. Window, new window, graphics, 3D. And you can rotate the data and you can also pan the data over. Take a look at it from all angles. Let's close the 3D window now and save my data set. Save it as uh, 
Topol. Now let's go design a road on top of that data set. I'll show you how easy it is to design a road on top of a LiDAR data set. The uh, data has been saved in our native format, which is TER format, train format. Now let's go to the location design module and open up that data. File new. I'm just going to start at the center of the train with my alignment. It's asking me where do I want to start my initial alignment. As you can see in our uh, software, there is a whole bunch of options that you can turn on and off. And all of these options are saved in what we call screen layouts. And uh, I'm going to select the screen layout here that will assist me with horizontal alignment. You can see that my first data point has been added in to the middle of my train. I'm going to move it over to the uh, flatter areas. and just show you how to, uh, before I do that I'm going to uh, create us, uh, make sure I have the correct set of templates. I'm going to use the rural paved road. Open it up. Every template is made up of components and within every component there's a whole bunch of fragments and legs. I'm not going to show you the fragments and legs, I'm just going to show you some of the parameters within each of the uh, components. The roadway components have a, component has a bunch of parameters that you can change, like asphalt thickness. I'm going to make my asphalt thickness 0.1 of a foot, my asphalt width about 10 feet wide on the left side, and 10 feet wide on the right side. 